Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Kes Group, and in this short presentation we're going to take a quick look at one of the new render elements that we have in V-Ray 2.0. If I open the render setup and go to the render elements tab, you'll see that now I can add a new ra render element called V-Ray Light Select. So I'm just going to add it. This render element actually allows me to pick one or more lights and to extract their contribution to the scene into a separate render element. Then I can use a compositing software to compose the scene back together and I can have a much better control over the illumination of the scene. So to show you how this works, I'm going to create a very simple scene. I'm going to add a plane and give it a normal V-Ray material. And I also add two lights to the scene. I'm going to make one of them blue and I'll make it invisible and I'll select the other one make it red and also make it invisible now I'll add two render elements I already have added the first one this is this one VRA light select and I'm going to pick the first light and then I'm going to add a new one. Again, v light select. And add the second light to it. Finally, I'll enable the built-in frame buffer and I'm going to render through the perspective view. Now you can see this is the image we get. And uh, if we take a look at the render elements, you'll see that we have the contribution of the individual lights. So I'm going to click this button and go into PD player and you'll see this is the final image and I'm going to compose the other two layers back together so what I can do now is I can actually play with the exposure and I can lower or increase the intensity of the individual lights and I don't have to render the image uh, all over again every time I want to change the intensity of one of the lights and this will be very useful in a more complex scene which I'm going to open now Okay, I opened my scene and I actually rendered it out and I did this in order to save some time because as you can see this scene took 3 minutes and 46 seconds to render and uh, I want to make this presentation a little bit shorter. So the reason this uh, scene takes uh, this much time to render is because we have a lot of lights in the scene. We have many many lights and all those take some time to render. So if I want to adjust this, uh, the intensity of each light by just um, changing its intensity and rendering out, this will take a lot of time. And as you know, time is money. So what I did instead is uh, I have added several render elements and I have given them names so that I know uh, which render element controls which set of lights. And you'll see that I have this video light select low lights for all these lights here on the floor and then I have uh, uh, light select Omni for the Omni light and so on. I have actually all the lights have been extracted to a separate render element. And I also have render elements for the background and for the GI and so on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the into PD player and I will compose those back together. So I'm just going to use that uh, operator and I'm going to move the final rendering to the side. So as you can see, we have some alpha here going on. That's why we're seeing through the window. But all in all, the rendering looks exactly the same. So what I can do now is I can actually start and adjust the intensity of the lights. So if I select this low lights, I can play with the exposure and increase this, their intensity. As you can see, this affects the entire scene. And it's uh, very easy, very fast to do. I can t turn some, some of the lights on and off. Uh, of course I can do this with all of the lights, so if I select the Somni light again I can play with its exposure, uh, increase it a little bit, decrease it a little bit, and I can adjust the entire illumination of the scene just by playing with the exposure of these uh, render elements. And as I told you, this saves a lot of time. If I had to do this uh, in the regular, regular way just by uh, changing something in the light and rendering, changing something in the rendering, this would take a lot of time. 
and this way with this approach you can finish your renderings much faster and just adjust the lighting in compositing later. So this concludes this presentation. I'm Dimitri Krstiv Jimmy and I thank you for watching.